Okay, welcome back. This is part four of building a mini CNC machine out of floppy drives and actually CD-ROM drives too, I forgot to mention. So um, what we're going to do here in this video is test the interface that we have made from the printer port to uh, the floppy drive. Now we're going to try to hook them together and uh, manipulate them with our parallel port monitor program Parmon that we discussed in the last video. So what we got to do is, if you see here, we have our, uh, it has it numbered, pin number one here is the bottom row is actually uh, the odd numbers and the top row is the even numbers. So basically all of the, uh, if we look at our pin out for a floppy drive, You'll see it's only even numbers that have anything on them so it's it's all the odd numbers that are ground so if we find our black wire that we made on our ground that is actually pin 25 if you remember and we have a little jumper here so what we do is if we look in the back here we can see the uh, the one on the bottom here is all ground so if I just hook up to one of those, that should be grounded. And then the other two pin, uh, these two, the black and the green, we hooked up to our parallel port. We're going to hook up to 18 and 20, which I believe are here, yeah, and here. So now we've got it all hooked up, and we've got parallel port or paramon uh, running. And that's your whole setup there. Now what we're going to do is just click on and off and hopefully it's all set up. And you see that, if you can see it, let me zoom in here. Our stepper motor jumps back and forth here when I click on pin number, actually it's pin 3 D1 output. And then uh, I have to reverse it actually, uh, I click pin 2, uh, there it is, P pin 2 is the uh, direction, and pin 3 is the step. So when I click on pin 3 again and again, that's where I'm getting the movement. So we set all this up just to show how to manipulate a stepper motor, and now what we're going to do since this travel is only you know half an inch or three quarters of an inch, it's not very big. Uh, the next video we're going to do is hook up this stepper motor. Basically, we're using this whole board here, this chip, to control the because uh, it's got a H bridge in it, and uh, it can control a stepper motor. So we're going to use this connection here and connect it into. A CD-ROM drive is our next one. So we're gonna hack open an old CD-ROM drive, and it has a bigger travel is the is the whole thing of the uh, laser. So we're gonna do that next, and uh, stay tuned.